It is so common now when a player is coming in on the keeper that instead of taking a shot, they pass it across the goal. And that feeling of helplessness the keeper has as they watch the ball going across the square. Yeah, so this is going to require a different movement than the normal sort of soccer side stance. We're nearly going to have to wrap our legs over the top. Yeah, that lateral running, you have to separate your upper and lower body. So let's go and show them how to do it. Yep. Set up some poles or cones in a zigzag pattern like this and have the keepers run laterally between them, pushing off the outside leg to start the movement and driving down the outside leg to finish tall and balanced at each point on the zigzag. Advance this in the goal by setting up a distraction on the angle before a call to send the keeper laterally across the box as fast as possible. You can start without a ball, getting the keeper to touch a pole or mannequin on the other side and then progress to making a save with a tennis ball or you could use a volleyball and then a football. It's important to let the keeper find their own method of saving. Some taller, more athletic or faster keepers will try to cut out the ball across the goal and if that works, encourage it. The key here is developing the fast lateral movement. So practice this and what might have seemed like a stranded position before is a lot more manageable. Yeah, this is going to be infuriating in training but trust me, you keep working on it, someday you're going to make that big save.